Hello, everyone, and welcome. Um, as you've already heard, you already know my name. And before we begin, I'd like for each and every one of you to close your eyes. So you're now going to picture yourself studying for a test. You're in your favorite spot. You're completely comfortable, completely concentrated. And after a certain amount of hours, you're done. Now, how do you feel? Do you feel that you've learned everything? How do you feel if I tell you, will you learn and will you apply everything during your test? How about after the test? How about the class? If you've answered no to any of one of these questions, you're definitely in the right place. <laughs> Before we dive into the topic, I'd like to tell you the story about how this came to be. And to do this, we're going to have to go back in time just a little bit. Four years ago, I started my journey here in the University of Puerto Rico at Mayaguez as a first-time freshman student studying a bachelor's in mechanical engineering. I was taking the basic courses you take when starting such degree. Coming from a public school student into college, I knew that college was going to be a little bit harder than high school, but not to which extent. When the time came to study for my first exam, my first math exam, I studied a little bit harder than, you know, how, how I did in high school because it seemed to work just fine back then. But when the time came to take the test, the story was completely different. I remember sitting in that chair, taking that test, and like clockwork, my mind went completely blank. And then the questions began. Why can't I proceed? What's going on? Why can't I do this? Questions that really didn't have any relevance to solving the test, but questions that will eventually led me to present to you what I'm going to be talking about today. Going back to this story, as you would expect, when I received the grade for that test, it was a failing grade. And with that, my perspective of success in college completely changed. I went from an I can't do attitude, I can't do mindset, to how am I going to do this? How am I going to learn? And more importantly, how am I going to graduate successfully? As the semester progressed, I kept coming back to these questions, and the same word kept on popping up. How? So I finally decided to sit down and redefine what learning meant to me, how I learned, and how I applied my knowledge in every class, exam, and of the sort. And in doing so, I developed a method that went past studying or cramming information just to pass any given test or even a class. My mindset went to, what do I need to pass this test to? How am I learning from what I'm studying and how can I apply it after my test, even after my class? And with that, this method came into fruition. And it's just a simple two-step process. The first one is what I like to call the theoretical review. In the theoretical review, we're going to include mostly definitions and concepts. And what we're going to do here is we are going to gather as many resources as we can, and we're going to start looking at the terminology, the concepts, not just the little black words. We go, we're going to look at the entire page, and we're going to gather as many resources as we can to do this. This meaning PowerPoint, handouts, obviously, if you have a class book. And if you can, online resources are definitely a good way to go. And we're going to be looking at, again, the diagrams, the words, the definition, every concept that you can gather, and we're going to extract as much relevant information as we can from this. And it's important to do this theoretical review because we need to understand the basis on which we are building our knowledge. If we have a clear understanding of where it's coming from, we will have a clear understanding of where it's going. So how do we go about this? And to do this, I've brought in a slide from one of my previous professors. As you can see, there are many formulas, there are diagrams, there's text. And usually we just send through the PowerPoints and we say, OK, I read it. But really, what I would do here, I would extract information. And the information I would extract is the one that's highlighted in green. Those are my main concepts. And my formulas are the ones you see highlighted in blue. And what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to do and write it on another paper. If you prefer a computer, write it on a computer. If you prefer to hand write it, definitely recommend it. And this information will be summarized like so. Notice how the title says Theoretical Review Module 11. 
This will help you, and it helped me learn and actually know where it came from, just in case I missed a couple of things that I later wanted to add on. I can go back and say, I need to add this. So you're basically building your own library. And with this new gain knowledge that you have and these new concepts, you're going to go and go into your practice and say, how can I apply what I have just learned? And this is where the practical review comes into place. And the practical review, we're going to include practical applications, this meaning problems, quizzes, workshops. If you have exams that the professor provides, that's perfect too. And what we're going to do here is we're going to attempt to solve each and every one of these problems, or as many as we can, by gathering the necessary resources. These mean, this meaning if you have a class book and you have a course syllabus, you probably have a good number of assigned problems. The students in the class know that in this university, we have a lot of assigned problems every time we have a course syllabus. And so we're going we're gonna to solve these problems with the method of what is going on in this scenario that I'm presented with? And how can I apply what I have just learned here? In doing so, we're developing a new set of problem-solving skills that we will use in a very effective manner because we're not looking to get a number, we're not looking to get a result. We're looking at how can I apply what I have just learned in this specific problem. So I'm taking the knowledge and saying, this is a general concept, and I'm putting it in the perspective of the problem that I'm being presented with. And in doing that, you develop a mental agility in this type of mindset. When you look at a problem, you're going to say, what concepts do I need to apply? And my recommendation for any of you who would like to partake in this is, number one, be as neat and clean as possible when you're developing your problem. This meaning, if you're using concepts, just write a note and say, I use this concept. If you're looking at a wall and looking at the heat transfer rate, I know that the heat transfer rate at what the surface is meet is the same for one side as the same for other. Mechanical engineering talk, sorry. <laughs> but in this case, as you can see, you look at the problem and say, step-by-step -step process. Second recommendation, if you make a mistake during your problem solution, don't erase it. Just write out why it was wrong, and this will help you correct any uncommon or common mistakes throughout the journey. The third one will be solve the problem in a separate page if you made a mistake. And doing that, you have this neat little bundle that you can go back to at any given time, whether it's on your computer or on your paper. As you can see, it's a very robust process that is not only useful to students like myself, but to any type of student, whether it's a self-learning student, a graduate student, a high school student, any type of student. We're all students of life at the end of the day. And this is what it's all about. You only need the desire to learn and the discipline to grow through the process. And in doing so, you will develop a perspective around any given topic, a holistic perspective, because you don't only look at the theory, but you look at the practical applications that go with that theory. So you meet them in the middle. And as was said in my introduction, I aim to change the world one student at a time. And I believe I did that before by sharing this method with some people whose success stories I will be presenting to you today. The first one is about a person that I met six months ago. The second one will be about a person a year ago. And the third one will be a person I met about three years ago. They have been using this method for this specific lot of time. And what I saw in these people, they were all different, but we all had the same problem. At a certain point in time, we failed. So when I asked them to comment on the subjects you see on the screen, I was surprised at the change that this method had into their lives. And I invite you to come along with me in this journey of sharing their stories. The six months person I met a lot, uh, six months ago, and in a quick conversation, I learned that the position she was in was one that really didn't foster any type of success and much less motivation or drive. And so I showed her this method and I say, if you go to the process, this will help you. And that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to help. And when I asked her a couple months ago and say, comment on these topics, she said that she used to spend hours and hours and hours studying to really no result. And now, after the method, less is more. Less time and more learning. So much so that she is confident that she will lift her academic probation here at the university. 
That's something I call a person that's on a clear path of success. She took this method and made it her own and is now making a change in her life, proceeding and actually moving forward. Something I will, like, I see in every one of these stories. The second person, a very close friend of mine, who in a complaint about college session, I learned about she was, that she was struggling with her classes. She said that she knew that she had a problem with material course gaps and her own inactivity, but really didn't know how to fix it. And I believe this is a problem that many people face nowadays, but don't have the right tools to address. So he immediately said, use this method, this is the way to go, and just let me know if you need any help. And when I came back to ask her, she said, this is great, I fixed my problem. I know I can do whatever I set my mind to. What used to be a mindset of I'll graduate in 10 years if I make it is now a mindset of I'll graduate in seven years because it's possible and I know exactly how to do it. A path of success. This is exactly what we're looking for in this type of people that go through the method. If you are that person, this is what you will see. The last story and the one that's basically one of my favorites is this person I met a long time ago and I've been in as a witness of her great progress and the great person she is nowadays. Commenting on the, pro on the method, she said that she, it hasn't only helped her in college, but right now it helps her in her workplace. She uses it as her workplace, an experience that she gained after she turned her grades around, after this method. She turned the no into a yes. Uh, I don't meet your requirements, so right now I'm exceeding your requirements. A clear path of success. She knew at one point in time, she thought, I'll graduate whenever I graduate, if I can make it, and now I will graduate, I'll graduate successfully, I know I can do it, and I know how to do it, which is the most important thing I believe I can gather, gather from this story. I, myself, am incredibly proud of each and every one of these people I, I, I shared my method with, and this is something I wish to say about each and every one of you students in the room that I see today, future students that I see in the room today, or definitely students of life that I see today. That's what I look for. Driven, passionate people that are looking forward to, no matter where they come from, they will know that they have the right tools and they will get to where they want to go. Transformed people, driven people that will eventually walk on the path of success. And as a final thought, I'd like to leave you with this. We all know the saying from Mabonides, and he says, give a man a fish and you feed him for a day, teach a man to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. Ladies and gentlemen, this method is the teaching you how to fish part, which in turn will enable each and every one of you to learn for a lifetime. Thank you.